I know people tend to start New Year's off with, what can I get rid of? What can I use from my stash? I'm not going to buy any yarn for a whole entire year. But me, I'm like, let's start off things right with some pretties. Friends, hello! Welcome back to Amethyst Craftworks. I'm Samantha, and welcome to a yarn haul. Now, I haven't done one of these in a real long time, because I gotta be honest, I don't really buy yarn in big quantities at once. I typically will buy yarn when it's on sale, when I can get free shipping, you know the drill. Um, in smaller quantities, usually for some, like, something specific in mind. I don't usually buy yarn just to buy yarn. This doesn't really <laughs> speak well to what I'm saying, but I promise I don't. I don't, I could, but I don't. But for Black Friday, a certain... Hobie Yarn Company caught my eye with some gorgeous things that I wanted and hadn't bought and treat yourself and so on and so forth. And so I have a Hobie Yarn Haul for you. Sorry, I'm leaning off camera so I can show you Hobie. Hobby? Hobie. Hobie. Let's go with Hobie, maybe. But I've got some Black Friday goodies to show you that I, number one, took, it, it definitely took a decent amount of time to get to me, I'm not going to lie. They're in Denmark. Is that where it is? Let's see. Is it from Denmark? Yes, Denmark. Um, it's, they're, they're located in Denmark, so way outside the country for me here in the U.S., and it was around the holidays, so I ordered these on Black Friday. It took a while for them to ship. It took all the shipping companies a while to get them to me. It was also stuck in customs for a really long time. And so it took a while to get to me, and then Christmas craziness, the 12 days of Christmas gift exchange I did with Heather. Like, I just kind of never had time in December to show you. So I'm going to show you now because I'm not only dying to dive into these yarns, but I've also got some mystery bags. So let's just get into the yarn haul here. You guys want to see what I got? Let's do it. So the first things I'm going to show you here are things that I picked out myself. There are two mystery bags that I got. And I, th the reason why I got two is because sometimes... Mystery bags are the same yarn, and sometimes they're not, but sometimes they are. And they're usually, like, one-off skeins of, like, a weird color or, you know, a weird brand or a different, like, colorway, like, variegated or whatever that didn't sell all that well that they just put one-ofs in mystery bags, right? So I got two with the hope that I got two of the same because then I might have some quantity of yarn to do a substantial project with. But if they're different, that's okay too, of course. But the first thing that I'm going to show you in this first bag are the things that I myself picked out. And the very first thing that I'm going to pull out here, Hobie, I have to say, I have some Hobie yarn sitting right here. They're all just sort of jumbled. I need to reorganize this whole, all of this. This too needs reorganized. But Hobie has some of the best color combinations for yarn ever. I think they're honestly one of my absolute favorites for color combos because this was a Black Friday specific yarn. A Black Friday cotton cake. They're just like these here. The Sultan, is that what they're called? Cotton Kings? 
Whatever. This color combo. I died. I absolutely died. It's, I mean, my, my camera and my light, my ring light, are washing it out pretty good. That's probably more accurate. A little, like, back here. That looks pretty accurate. It's like a dark hunter green, a sort of medium Kelly green, an olive green, and then just toxic sludge, oogie boogie green, right? It's gorgeous and in my channel banner so on my actual like channel homepage is a lacy mesh sort of bathing suit cover-up I think is what it's meant to be but I wore it over a tank top like I made a shirt out of a Halloween one of these and so I'm thinking something like that for spring coming spring coming Super cute, and I mean, I'm a sucker for green like this, so that's the first thing. We're going to be here forever if I talk about everything individually like that. So, so, the next thing I have, I'm sorry for the bag noises. It's also, it's been a while since I looked at these things when I opened the bag, and oh my god. These. Let's see. There we go. Halloween sock wool glitter. Now these were, of course, as the name suggests, part of their Halloween collection. Now I bought Halloween ho Hobie yarn again down here last year, and I didn't this year. And I got some things that I was like, you know, they get me. I, like, need these. I can't pass them up. I can't let them sell out with without getting some. And so these sock wools, I had to. There was a colorway. I don't remember the color name. And unfortunately, same with the, uh, the cake, the cotton cake, this one. They don't have color names. This one specifically did not have a color name. I'm pretty sure it was just called Black Friday Cake. 14 is the color number that's on here. So this one didn't even have a name. These do, but for whatever reason, Hobie doesn't put the like fun Halloween names or any of their color names on the label. So I don't know what this one was called, but it is number three. It is like magenta, purple, orange, and black with like a coppery color sparkle through it. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see where it is a super fine number one, 73 wool, 25 polymod, 2% polyester. It is 459 yards, which is 420 meters. And it looks like it only suggests knitting needles. So three millimeter knitting needles. I'm not going to knit with them. I'm absolutely going to crochet with it. I don't know what, though. It might be socks. It could be some fabulous socks. I mean, let's be real. But it could also be some kind of, like, little shawlette or something. Because it's soft. I mean, for being wool and glitter yarn, it's very soft. So, it could be... A shawl, a scarf, uh, a small, like, uh, triangle scarf. I don't know. We'll see. To be honest, I've never worked with yarn this fine. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. But it was too gorgeous not to get. I also, I forgot to say, the cotton is a fine number two. It is 874 yards, or 800 meters, this one does have recommendations for crochet hook. It is 3.5 to 4 millimeter hook or 2.5 to 3.5 needles for knitting. Color number 14. And just, ugh. Glorious. So beautiful. Like I said, Hobie has some of my absolute favorite color combos. Like 
Oh, oh, this one. Now this is a twister, Halloween twister. You gotta focus. I think you can see it. And they all have these like ridiculously adorable yarn band ball bands that are themed which also not gonna lie got me pretty good <laughs> but this color I'm almost positive was called All Hallows Eve I think Twister is 55 cotton 45 acrylic it is also a super fine number two or no just a fine number two it is a thousand meters 193 yards it recommends 3.5 to 4 hook or 3 to 4 millimeter um, knitting needles. Oh, I don't even know what I want to make with this either, but I had to. I'm almost positive this was a new color as well this year. There were a couple that I saw on Hobie this year for Halloween that I don't remember seeing last year. If I had seen this one last year, I may have gotten it. But I am so glad that I got this one this year. It's got white in the middle too. There you can see. It's beautiful. It's very soft. This is like, like these, these like cotton. This one's 100% cotton. I'm, I'm almost positive. Yeah. 100% cotton. This one's cotton acrylic. These are like garment, like gorgeous garment worthy kind of cottons. These are exquisite yarns and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna make with this one but man oh that color combo gorgeous I love it these are all gonna go tumbling because <laughs> I've got I've got technically one more thing but I have two of them now oh I lied I also have <laughs> a Hobie candy they're like little heart candy. Uh, <laughs> cute. I'm going to set it down here anyway. So the last thing that I have now, there are some sitting here, right here, the Hobie Universe XLs from last year. Um, I got three of the colorways. So I got a kind of purple, magenta, and green, the same purpley, magenta, and orange. And then what was the third one? Oh, and then like a hot pink, gray, black, and orange. So those are here. And there was a fourth color. And I don't remember if this was there last year or if this is a new color for this year or what. But I didn't get it. And oh my god. Y'all. Look at that. Oh man, you can see it there. It's stunning. This is the Universe XL Halloween. Again with the cute, the cute ball band. Oh, it's so cute. It is a, what are you? A DK weight. So a lightweight number three. Each little, little cake here has uh, 240 yards or 220 meters. It is 98% acrylic, 2% polyester, which is the the pretty, it's like a indigo, like an indigo blue sparkle in there. Stunner, an absolute stunner. Um, this recommends a four to five millimeter crochet hook as well as needle. So four to five for both. And I got two of them. And my plan was to make uh, some kind of granny square uh, cardigan with the ones from last year and these and then like a black DK solid yarn. We'll see if I ever get around to that because if you have seen my most recent previous video, which I'll link up here, up here, up there, uh, here, wherever, wherever the link ends up, I will link it. Um, because I'm doing the Movie Marquee Challenge this year with Heather and Bella. Um, Heather the Crochet Witch and Bella from Bella's Crocheted Gifts. And I'm doing a Granny Square Cardigan for that challenge. 
And I'm not necessarily going to do two at once. Or even two back to back. But when I'm ready for some glorious Halloween colors. Oh my god. In a granny square cardigan. These are going to be fantastic. And again, Hobie's yarns are not only absolute stunners, but these are so soft. And it's, oh, it's like galaxy, witchy, oh, I could not love it more. So these are the, the yarns that I myself personally picked out for, for purchasing for me. But, like I said, I got two mystery bags so let's just open these and like i also said i'm not going to be disappointed if they're both the same because that will give me some decent quantities of yarn for some kind of substantial project but if they're also different then that's fun too right so we've got it open let's see oh i don't did i even say these are the acrylic lucky bags mystery bags, whatever they're called on the Hobie website. I think it's 500 grams of mystery colors of acrylic, but they all are going to be acrylic. Okay. So let's just start off now. I have not had this yarn. We love yarn. It is a Hobie specific brand. I'm pretty sure. What are you? It says it's a bulky. So it's a five. Color number nine, but it's black. 100% acrylic, made in Turkey. Where's the yardage? 100 grams, 147 meters, or 135, or 147 yards, 135 meters. It is very soft. It recommends a 6.5 crochet hook or 6.5 to 7 millimeter um, knitting needles. You guys know I ain't mad at black. And there is, let's see, are these, no, those are different colors. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. Let me pull them all out. So we have the black, black. Then we have a brown, it's color number five. A nice kind of warm tone brown. But then there's these two, which I don't know if my light's going to actually show them different because they do have different color numbers, right? Number seven and number six. They're very similar, but one is a brown and one is a green. You can kind of tell it's like a dark olive green and like a very dark neutral brown. And I got to say, did... Heather, get these colors? Girl, let me know. Because I think you did. I gotta say, I ain't mad at those. They look really good together. Especially, I mean... Not... I have said brown is not my, my most favorite color. But those together? Oh, that's a yes from me. Especially that green. I love olive green. I love green in general, as we are aware of this, but I kind of love those. And also, I'm just going to toss them back in the bag on the floor. We've got two other little ones. Go Handmade Twist, a lightweight, soft, warm yarn with a wool-like feeling. So it's 100% acrylic, and I got two of them. <laughs> two little itty bitty ones. They're so cute. They're very soft. 100% uh, acrylic. 90 meters, there's no yard on there. It also says only needle size, so 3.4 to 4 millimeter. This one actually has a color name. It's called Off-White, and there's two of them. It's very uh, cute. These little, like, skeins are cute. Hello, my light. There, it took a sec. There we go. These are cute, and these are actually really soft. And it almost reminds me of uh, Homespun. 
I know homespun is like a love it or hate it kind of yarn. I don't mind it. I, it comes in some fabulous colors, let me tell you. And that's sort of what this reminds me of. And it's very soft. Oh, it's very soft. This would make maybe some cute trim on a hat or something. I don't know. I'll have to ponder that. That's interesting. I've never had yarn like, well, I've had homespun, but I've never had yarn like that specifically. Interesting. But let's see. I've got the other one. Oh, okay. Similar. Similar, similar. So this is number five. So we have the We Love Yarn upside down. And number five was number five. Yes. So I have two number fives. Two number fives. I've got two number sixes, which is the green, the very dark green. I've got two blacks. So number nine, so the color black, I've got two of those. I've also got two more of the Go Handmade Twist. The like off-white, they're both off-white, yep. So this I could do actually some decent something with. That was my goal, to get enough of these random colors to do something with. I'd have no idea what size yarn it is. It doesn't say, but it's thin. Um, but I could do something with, because now I've got four, right? But I also, this one was different. <laughs> In the very last one, color number 21. Oh, man. It's always on this side. Where it's sort of, there we go. Very bright red. This is like cherry explosion red. This is actually really gorgeous. I love this color. And again, it's the same We Love Yarn acrylic bulky, number five. And I gotta say, y'all, one of my absolute favorite color combinations, red and black. You cannot go wrong. This would actually like make um, a bulk, like bulky like this would make a really nice scarf or cowl and hat combo. Might be what happens with it because yeah, I'm so pleased not only with, not only with all of this gorgeousness, but the mystery bags too. They were fun to open and I'm real pleased with those color uh, combinations. I'm also glad that I got doubles of some of them so that the like the brown and the black especially the black and that green that dark green i love them thank you hobie <laughs> that was so fun to open i really need to do yarn hauls more often or do i maybe i don't <laughs> for my own sanity but they're really fun to open and i love opening mystery bags and all that good stuff so yeah, Hobie, not sponsored by the by, but I, they're like, I love them. I love their color combos, and I love that they're not afraid to lean into the like ridiculous neon Halloween kind of colors. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so I thank you so much for watching. <laughs> thank you for opening some yarn with me. If you have ideas for me for any of these yarns, drop me a comment. Let me know. I had plans for some of them. Some of them I do not. None of those uh, mystery bag yarns had plans. So you got to let me know. If you think of something good, please, please do share. And give me a like if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe if you haven't already, because I would love to have you join us here. And if nothing else, I really appreciate your time, and I appreciate you spending that time here with me, gushing over <laughs> Hobie Yarn. I hope you had a good time. And until the next time I see ya, I hope you stay safe and stay healthy, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye!